Hi, let's continue with our section. In this video, we will perform the HG boost classifier. So, this is a really powerful machine learning algorithm. So, and it's normally when you perform HG, HG boost, you get a very high result. So, let's talk about what is it. So, gradient. HG boost or radiant boosting is widely considered the most reliable and accuracy algorithm for genetic machine learning problem. So in this video, we'll perform the HG boost and to see how powerful it, it is. So now in here, I did mount the drive and I did CD to the collab notebooks as we will use the same data set. So I just import the pandas and also I did read the data sets as we did from the, on the previous video. So there's, there are not anything not new in here. So I just do y equal df and then open brackets and then we have is malware. And now we have x equal bd df dot drop. So xg boost is very powerful. So we need to drop name comma malware and then we have is axis is equal to one dot two underscore numpy now we need to run the cell and we need to split the train and Let's set. So we just import from sklearn dot model selection. We need to import the train underscore test split. And now we got x underscore train, comma x underscore test, comma y underscore train, comma y underscore test so equal we have a strand underscore test underscore split we have x comma y comma test underscore size is equal to 0 0.3 now we will run the cell and no error so we need to create one instance of an XG boost and train it on the training set. So it's very simple. Just from XG boost import XGB classifier and now we hot XGB underscore model underscore instance we have is xgb classifier open brackets close brackets and now we just copy this one and then dot fit x underscore train comma y underscore train So let's run the cell. So we got the information of, about HGB classifier. We have base score is equal to 0 0.5, booster equal GB3, and then we got learning rate is 0 0.1, max delta step, max step is 3, and mean chai weight. And we got all the necessary information. So now we will 
access is performance on the testing set. So we just from sklearn dot matrix and we'll import is accuracy score. So we got y underscore test underscore bread equal HGB model instant dot predict where x underscore test and of course we'll do the accuracy equal accuracy dot score we got a is y underscore test comma y underscore test underscore bread and now we will bring our accuracy this will be percentage point two f percentage percentage and now we got a percentage accuracy times a hundred so now let's run the cell and this got around 99 percent so that is really good so we can so basically how does it work so we will write some step for that to explain so step one is reading our data set step two is we create a train and a test split and then step three is we proceed proceed to instantiate an hg boost classifier with the four parameter parameters and fit it into to our training set and step I think I just need to delete this one and in step 4 step 4 we use our HG boost classifier to predict on the testing set and we then produce the measure accuracy of our HG boost model prediction so and that is on in this video so i hope you can successfully get run the xg boost and i hope you can get the same accuracy as mine or maybe higher and i will see you in the next video